morning guys um i know this isn't the kind of live stream that you guys wanted to wake up to but it seems to me a lot of people don't understand why i did what i did when i dissolved my friendship and brotherhood with underground artists Eric Scrubwell. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, you know, what the fuck's going on? Like, why would you do that? And this and that and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll explain to you guys what happened. You know, I will personally explain it to you guys. Now, see, a lot of you guys that think you know Eric, you guys don't know him in the way that I do. See, I've known Eric for 15 plus years. So to be fair, I do know him a lot better than anyone. <clears throat> you guys are probably thinking, why did I end my friendship? Well, it was more than just about a trust issue. It wasn't about trust for me, at least on my end. What it was about for me is about him taking opportunities from me that I earned, that I worked hard for. See, Eric took opportunities for me that he knew I earned. Eric knew I earned those opportunities. Like the opportunity to be on a magazine cover. I was Akron's number one dubstep artist from 2010 when I first started out up until last year when I had to get rid of my reverb nation because I had too many songs on there and all that shit. But, see, a lot of you motherfuckers out there say you know Eric. But that's the thing. You guys don't know Eric the way that I do. See, like I say, I've known Eric for 15 years. I know him better than any of you guys could ever hope to know him. This man has lied to me for 15 years since I first started out doing music. This man has done nothing but lie to me. Hey, Rodney, well, how did he lie to you? Well, for starters, he sat there the one day Actually, not just one day, it was a few times. Sitting there and telling me that my songs had over a thousand plays and a thousand downloads on SoundCloud and on YouTube. I went on to YouTube and on SoundCloud. Not a single one of my songs, other than that remix that I did for the Soldier Boy disc, which was done by Stephen Hobbs and a lot of soldiers, had over a thousand downloads that is the only song that had over a thousand downloads and a thousand plays and he knew about that song before and he knew i released that song he knew that before he said that it already had over a thousand this man said several times over that i was going places that my stuff would be on the radio on an underground radio show that you know like he made all these promises and never kept them. Not a single promise he made. He sat there and promised me, oh, you know, your stuff's going to be on this magazine. Your stuff's going to be, you know, on this radio station and this radio station. And this and that, blah, blah, blah. Well, the truth of the matter is, he lied. He's lying to every single one of you. You think he's not, but the truth of the matter, he is. And I have full-fledged proof of that shit. He sat right there and said, oh, you know, like, you're going to be famous. You're going to, you know, you got this many downloads, this many plays. But he lied. For 10 years, 
for 10 plus years, this man has lied to my face. And that's why I called him out because I don't want any other artists that are out there that are good at what they do to get screwed over by this man. This man has done nothing but lie to me, embarrass my name as an artist, embarrass me as a person, and made every fucking artist like myself look bad. Not to mention this man has stolen opportunity after opportunity from me. Opportunities that I worked hard for, that everybody knows I have earned, that I should have gotten. When he got signed to Dejected Records, he didn't bring my name up. Oh yeah, he mentioned my name, but it wasn't as an artist. To him, I was a DJ. I wasn't a fucking music artist. I wasn't a musician. I was a DJ, according to him. But the truth of the matter is, I'm not a DJ. I am a music artist. I've had to live under the term of a DJ for all these years because of him. And you know what that did for him? That gave him opportunities. To everyone else, I was a beat maker. I was a DJ, that kind of shit. Nobody saw me more than that. Nobody checked out my music or checked out what I did. The new styles of music that I came out with. Because according to him, he told everybody I was just a DJ. That I wasn't a music artist. And that's not true. I am an artist. I am not a fucking DJ. I never have been a DJ. Yes, I've made, you know, remixes of songs and stuff, but every artist does that. Every artist in some way or another does a mashup or a remix in some way. But I'm sorry, but I am tired of living in Eric Scrublow's shadow as a DJ. I am an artist, not a fucking DJ. And the fact that he had the nerve to sit there and take opportunity after opportunity from me that I have earned, that I have worked my entire career for, the shit that I have faced diversity, that I have faced discrimination for, for him to take those opportunities for himself. Where is that fair? Where is that fair for me? He offered every other artist opportunities to get to where they want to be. And like I said, I'm not mad at people like Bradley who have earned opportunities because Bradley's earned opportunities. My little brother Ian has earned the opportunities that he's given. That man, his Ian, he's only 16 and the man is fucking killing the music scene. He's doing damn good at what he does. The kid's one of the most amazing artists I've ever seen in my life. The kid is truly amazing. He deserves every good opportunity that he gets. So like I said, I'm not mad at Ian. I'm not mad at Ian at all for getting the opportunities that he deserves. What I'm mad at is the fact that Eric had the balls to not only lie to me all these years, but to give everybody else opportunities that I deserve, that I earned, that I worked my ass off for, that I went sleepless nights for that I gave up holidays for, that I gave up birthdays and weddings for. I missed one of my best friends wedding for my music career. I missed holidays. I gave up my fucking birthday for this shit. Okay? Even on Christmas, during the Christmas times, during the holidays when I'm supposed to be with my family, yeah, I spent a good majority of the holidays with my family. But after we were done opening gifts, you know what I did? I went right back to busting my ass and hustling and grinding on music. Every day, every night. I worked my ass off since day one, honing my craft. Doing what I believe in.
you know, busting my ass, doing the shit that nobody else has the fucking balls or guts to do anymore, which is work hard. You got all these shit artists that are getting signed with shitty ass songs. These fucking mumble rappers and these fucking artists that don't even know what music is getting signed to good, honest labels like Dejected Records. And while they're doing that, hard working. Honest, hard-working artists like myself get to take the backseat because of people like this. And everyone wonders why I got rid of the Shadow Blade name. It's not because I wanted to. It's because of the fact that there's so much negativity attached to it and attached to everything that I went through with Eric that I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to be connected to Eric in any way, shape, or form. I don't want to be connected to all the lies that he told me. Everything that he fucking put me through all these years. So like I said, this whole situation about being on a magazine cover and everybody else getting opportunities, it's more than just trust. It's beyond trust. It's not just about trust. It's about earning opportunities that I've worked my ass off for and everybody getting those opportunities. While everyone else is asleep at night, you guys want to know what I'm doing? I'm constantly writing, even in my sleep. I can't even hardly sleep half the time. And when I do, it's for a very short time. Because my mind is always going. I'm always coming up with ideas to better myself as an artist. And always coming up with new ideas musically. I'm constantly thinking, how can I make this better than this last one? Like, what can I do differently to this track or this song that makes it a hundred times better and blows this other stuff out of the water? What can I do that makes me stand out as an artist? So like I said, this whole situation is not about trust. It's about having opportunities that I've earned stolen from me. Opportunities that I've earned being ripped away from me because this man doesn't have the fucking balls to mention the person that helped him. When everybody else turned against him, who was there helping him out, picking him back up, telling him it was all right? When he got out of line, who was there telling him, yo, you need to snap the fuck out of this? When he was in the fucking hospital, dying, almost dead, who was there on the fucking phone with his ass? And sure as fuck wasn't his supposed friends, it was me. Who was there on the fucking video call with him while he was puking out fucking pills in the middle of the fucking night about to die until an ambulance got there to help him? And that's what pisses me off. I did all of that for him because I cared about the man. The dude was my fucking brother. I saw that man as fucking family. I saw that man as my equal, as my brother. And then what did he go and do? Stab me in the back and continue to steal opportunities from me. Why? Because he's not in it for other artists like he said. He's in it for himself. And he doesn't give a fuck who he has to walk on. Or go through to get what he wants. He will do whatever he has to do. He don't care whether he stabs someone in the back. He don't care about friendships. All he cares about is himself. And that's pretty fucking sad. Considering the fact I gave this man 110%. I gave this man everything I had and more. 
And yet, what happened? I get labeled as a DJ and thrown in the backseat as if I don't fucking matter. And I'm sorry, but I'm done with the fucking lie. I'm done with being treated like shit, and I'm done living in his fucking shadow. I'm done with it. I'm not just some other fucking DJ that's, you know, disposable or dispensable. Artists like me don't come around. We're not a dime a dozen. Artists like myself who are truly great, we don't come around all. So instead of putting us in the back fucking seat and treating us like we don't fucking matter, why don't you start growing the fuck up, realizing what our capabilities are, what we can actually do, what we have to offer, and start giving us opportunities that motherfuckers like Eric Scruggle don't fucking deserve. Eric has not once put out any fucking songs other than the albums that I've worked with him on. And I've kept tabs on this guy. This man's always saying, oh, I'm working on this song, or I'm working on that, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. No, the fuck you're not. Stop fucking lying to everyone. You're not doing shit. All you're doing are fucking live streams on Facebook, doing fucking random shit, talking, doing this, doing that. And what am I doing while you're doing all that? I'm sitting here in the fucking studio, busting my ass, doing what I got to do to get to where I need to be. Every fucking day of the week. Yeah, it's true, I might game out every once in a while and do tournaments here and there. So fucking what? I do a fucking tournament, I win some shit, big fucking deal. I go back to doing my shit literally a couple minutes later. And I have proven that time and time again that my music career is more important to me than anything else. Y'all want to know what I did after I won that USC3 online ranking tournament? Y'all want to know what I did? I didn't go out and, you know, celebrate or anything like that or get drunk or anything like that. No. I posted up about it. And shit like that. Yeah. I did some videos about it and shit. I'll admit that. But right after that, I went right back to working on my fucking music. I've been busting my ass even since then. I have always put my career ahead of myself. I always put everyone ahead of myself. I have always put him ahead of myself. When I should have been putting myself first the entire time. Because maybe if I didn't trust this man. Maybe if I didn't trust him. I might actually be somewhere right now. But it's because of him. And him dragging me down. And making me feel less than him. Making me feel like I'm under him. When in fact I'm above him. Now, don't get me wrong, the, the dude's a damn good lyricist. Don't get me wrong, the dude can write songs, the dude can fucking rap. Don't get me wrong. But what are you doing with that shit? You're sitting there with your fucking thumb over your goddamn ass, not doing a motherfucking thing. Yeah, you might be doing this and doing that. You might be working on shit with other artists, but where's your solo shit? Hmm? You ain't even got any fucking music out on Spotify, dog. I do. I have two fucking albums out on Spotify, plus four or five different hit singles that went viral as fuck for me. So while you're sitting there with your fucking thumb up your ass, I'm over here making moves, busting my ass. Trying to show the world that I deserve a shot to get signed to a paying record label. While you're getting signed to a label for not doing a goddamn thing. Except sitting around, goddamn throw up your ass, wondering why the fuck, you know, you're not doing anything. Well, dude, I'll tell you why you're not doing anything. 
I know exactly why you're not doing anything. Because you're fucking lazy. You ain't got the balls to go against me or everything I fucking built. Because let me tell you something, dude. Me and my little brother, Ian, we built Bloodshot Records from the ground up. We built Bloodshot Records to help other artists. We don't give a fuck about getting paid as far as Bloodshot Records goes. What we give a fuck about is helping other artists out to get their name out there to help them out. Now, do I want to get signed to a paying label? Yes. More than fucking anything. And I would say, and I think everybody will agree with me when I say this, after all these years of hard work, I fucking deserve it. Because you want to know something, man? I turned down record deal after record deal after record deal for your ass. I could have been signed a long fucking time ago. But you know what? I gave all that up. I turned all those labels away. Because I believed in us. I believed in Killer Clown Sounds. I believed in what we built. But now, all I see is an empty shell of the person that I used to know that used to work hard. That used to be honest. That didn't give a fuck about anything but busting his fucking ass. Now look at you. You're an empty shell. You're a worthless fucking piece of shit. All you're doing now is lying to people. You're doing the one thing that you swore that you would never do to me or anyone. You're lying to people. And you're getting away with it. But I'm not about to sit here and let someone like you ruin my fucking name anymore. I'm not going to sit there and live in your shadow any fucking longer. Because, dude, let me tell you something. Song-wise, you're down here. Song-wise, I'm up here because I put in way more hard work than you could ever hope to fucking put in in your entire goddamn life. And if you think I'm fucking kidding, I'd say my music speaks for itself. Ask anyone that has heard my music. The only reason that you got any songs up on YouTube is because of me. I did that shit because I gave a fuck. I put your songs up there on YouTube because I cared about you. Because I believed in what you were doing. But honestly, now I see all that was a mistake. I should have never fucking trusted you. Had I known you'd been lying to me this whole time and you were just in all this for yourself, I would have listened to everybody and not to you. But what did I do? I gave you a chance. I worked with you. We released by fucking night. We released an entire album overnight. And it was a huge hit. But after that, what have you done with yourself? While I've overcome discrimination, while I face discrimination, while I face adversity, while I face people bashing on me, and keep on busting my ass to get to where I want to be, what are you doing? Getting high? Doing dumb shit? Instead of focusing on your fucking career. Honestly, I don't think it's fair that you get paid to not do a goddamn thing. All you do is you take these opportunities to get this and that when you don't even put out any fucking music, man. While I'm over here busting my fucking ass. Working my goddamn ass off. Not giving a fuck about my image, but giving a fuck about my music. What are you doing? Getting paid for your fucking image. Getting on magazine covers all because of your fucking image when you're not even that fucking good of an artist to begin with.
And I'm being straight up honest, dude. Your raps, yeah, they're good. Don't get me wrong. The shit you write is good. But vocally, you're not as good as you seem to think that you are. You're really not. I can name a hundred other people that I work with daily that are a hundred times better than you. One of those people being Ian. Another one of them being Aiden. Another one of them being my boy Garrett. Another one being motherfucking, well, let's see who, you got my boy Jay Boogie from Xbox. You got my boy Evil over in the UK. You got my boy Wiggs Wiggins over in the UK. Who I actually just recently did a remix of one of his songs with. With, I fucking did a remix of one of his songs. And me and him worked on it together. So while I'm over here working with pretty good sized names. What are you all doing? Not doing a goddamn thing. You say you've opened up for these artists. You say that you've worked with these big names. But no you haven't. See, you forget, dude. I'm not as dumb as you think. I'm a lot smarter than you fucking realize. I keep tabs on your ass. And you want to sit there and say that you should not have trusted me? Nah, man. I shouldn't have trusted you. You betrayed 10 plus years of friendship and brotherhood. And you say that I'm the lame one, that I'm the one that stabbed you in the back? No. You don't think it doesn't fucking hurt me that you did that to me? You don't think that doesn't fuck with my head, dude? I trusted you for fucking 10 plus years. And what did you do during that entire time? You did nothing but lie to me. Like I said, I'm done living in your shadow, Eric. I'm not just some disposable, dispensable DJ that you can pick up on the street a dime a dozen. No. I am a true music artist. I am a true musician. I am a hard worker. I put in the work. I put in the effort. I put in the hours. And yet, I don't get those same opportunities that you're giving. And that's not fair to me or any other artist that you've more than likely fucked over. See, you don't deserve that opportunity to be on a magazine cover. Because you've not put in the work. I have. I've kept tabs on you, man. You forget. I know you better than any motherfucker out there. I was there with you from before you fucking started your goddamn music career. So I know what you do and don't do. You forget, man. I know you better than anyone. I know you a lot better than you seem to fucking think. Yo, Susan, what's up? So to any artist out there that's coming up in the music industry or is looking to make a name for themselves and is wanting to work with anybody, hit me up. I'm always willing to work on collabs with people. I'm always down to do remixes and songs with people. Always. But I'm telling you guys right now, Eric Scrubolo is not to be trusted. This man has done nothing but lie to me. He lied to my face for 10 plus years. This man has stolen opportunity after opportunity for me that I have earned. And all because of his fucking image. This man doesn't even do any good music. And yet he still gets these opportunities. This man still 
gets the opportunity to be on magazine covers, on radio stations, when his shit ain't even that fucking good. Meanwhile, I'm here in the studio making actual good music that people really enjoy. And yet, I don't get those same opportunities because he decides to go and steal them from me, for himself. Just for 15 seconds of fame. Like I said, his lyrics, the lyrics he writes are amazing. Don't get me wrong. He writes some amazing fucking lyrics. Like, don't get me wrong. The man is truly talented when it comes to the lyrics. But when it comes to vocals, the man needs a lot of fuck words. Yeah, there's potential there. But he would rather stay stuck in the same fucking spot vocally instead of expanding out like I've done. That's why I've gotten as good as I have. Because I didn't just stick to one style. I learned every fucking style of music that I could. Whether it was country music, whether it was jazz, whether it was classical, whether it was EDM, dubstep, house, trap, you know, old school rap, hip hop, hybrid styles. You give me any fucking style and throw it my way, I can mix opposite styles that don't normally, you know, sound good together, and I make that shit sound good. I know how to do it. I know how to do what most artists don't know how to do. I can do the shit that most that within the music industry would be more more or less taboo, like combining several different styles into one solid sound and making it sound good. Matter of fact, let me let me pull up an example of what Eric sounds like vocally, so you guys can hear how this man, how awful I'm not. Trying to be rude when I say this, but how awful he sounds. I'm gonna switch up accounts real quick because I was actually when I was when all this went down, I was actually creating a uh, a new channel for gaming. I was actually going to be bringing back DK Customs, which if you guys know me and know my stuff, you guys know that DK Customs was literally my original gaming show name, and you know everybody wanted me to bring that back so bad, so I was gonna I was gonna bring it back for them. All right, let's see. What's his most viewed song on this channel? This one right here. Now, I want you guys to listen to this shit. Now take that and compare it to somebody like this. Well, if you guys don't know this shit, her name is Scully. She's got some amazing shit. Now compare that to this girl, Scully, right here, who I've worked with. I've worked with Scully.
And keep in mind, this is one of my beats that I put to her vocal. Actually, you know what? Here. Let me pull it up on here for you guys so you guys might actually hear. So you guys can actually hear Scully's vocal. Now this girl's got real fucking talent. Do I? 
Now that right there is true fucking talent. And if y'all not heard, if you all have not heard my boy Bradley, here's his newest song. Literally posted in, posted about a day, actually, yeah, a day ago today. Called, I don't know what I would do. We just want this. I don't know what I want to do, and that's a fact. One thing I can't do is lose. No, never gotta find the way around this. Never ain't that clever. See those shit views on YouTube. Well, I do every day, but still one stops to say, hey, that was pretty tight. Keep it up, damn. Maybe I'm doing it right. Gotta keep up, gotta keep on the ball writing, but I can't keep on moving. Gotta get on this writing. I'm in my own lane, learning my game. It's a good thing. I know what I want to do, but I know. I need to bring up this legendary motherfucker. This is my boy, a little scam right here. And this man took a disturbed beat, remade it, and did this. Yes. Okay. Hey. 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 
and told the meaning to learn to spit with the walking, talking, and living, breathing, urban dictionary. I had to cut some people off, I had to burn the bridges, all these people to talk and talk, and now it's a turn to listen, I'm a murder, listen, 30 minutes, he met you heard me, this is a mother rapper, always the first edition, I won't say his name is emphatic, it doesn't deserve attention, there's no one taking a shot at me, yes, your words are sensitive, truly ready mentally, I take nobody's enemies, presently, take nobody, you're messed up in the head, you sent to me, I come out, take your head, and take your head, open sensitive, to get back in the And that's true talent, motherfuckers. Straight the fuck up. That is true, real talent. So if you guys want real talent, come my way. Stop believing what Eric says. Because all he is, is a liar. That's all he is. But with that being said, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.